Welcome everyone to Skill Me Up Academy webinar for the Power Platform certification updates. In this session, I will walk you through the different certification options that are available for the Power Platform products. I'm Anupama Natarajan, your instructor for today's session. I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer and a Microsoft MVP with 20 years of experience working in the IT industry. I enjoy solving complex business problems with innovative solutions using Microsoft technologies and pretty much use those experience in my trainings. I do speak at conferences like PaaS Summit, SQL Saturdays, Data Platform Summit, Definity, and also organize local user group meetups and SQL Saturday events back in Wellington, New Zealand. You can email me or connect me on social media, both using my LinkedIn or my Twitter handle. Let me tell a little bit about Ops Agility before we get started. Ops Agility is a Microsoft Cloud Solutions provider and provides consulting services. They host virtual events on their one venue platform as well as provide training and enablement. They have some gold competencies and silver competencies and are a Microsoft certified partner. So let us quickly look at the agenda for today's session. We are going to start with where do I find the latest certifications related to the Power Platform products. We will also look at some of the Power Platform certification updates. This includes the Power Platform Fundamental Certification, the Power Platform Associate Certifications, and the Power Platform Expert Certifications. I will also conclude the session with some of the next steps that you need to follow in order to get prepared for the certification. So let's see what's new with the Power Platform certifications. So to begin with, you need to know where do I find the latest certifications. There is a certification poster that is available on the docs.microsoft.com and the link has been provided on this slide. Also, Microsoft Learn has got wealth of information, including learning paths to prepare for your Power Platform certifications. The list of Power Platform certifications are also available on the docs.microsoft.com website. Here is a screenshot that you can see on the slide, which shows the list of Power Platform certifications that are available for you to pursue. There are currently around seven certifications ranging from the fundamentals all the way to the expert certifications. We'll be looking at each and every certification and also look at what skills are required in order to succeed with those certifications. So let us quickly look at the Power Platform certification updates. So the first certification is PL900, which is Power Platform Fundamentals. So the candidates for this exam, they aspire to improve productivity by understanding the capabilities of the Microsoft Power Platform, automating basic business processes with Power Automate, performing basic data analysis with Power BI, acting more effectively by creating simple Power Apps experiences, and finally, creating powerful chatbots by using Power Virtual Agents. The key skills that will be measured as part of the PL900 exam are describing the business value of Power Platform. Around 20 to 25% of the exam questions will be asked from this topic. Identify the core components of Power Platform. Around 10 to 15% of the questions will be asked from this exam topic. Demonstrate the capabilities of Power BI. Around 20 to 25% of the questions will be from this topic. Describing the capabilities of Power Apps. 25 to 30% of the questions. While demonstrate the capabilities of Power Automate. Around 10 to 15% of the questions and demonstrate the business value of Power Virtual Agents, around 5 to 10% of the questions will be asked from this topic. So all these skill areas 
is from where the questions will be asked and your skills will be measured as part of the Power Platform Fundamentals exam. This particular exam was last updated back in April 29, 2022. So if you take up the Microsoft Power Platform Fundamentals exam, then you basically earn the certification, which is Fundamental Certification of Power Platform Fundamentals. So this exam measures your ability to describe the business value of Power Platform, identify the core components of Power Platform, demonstrate the capabilities of Power BI, describe the capabilities of Power Apps, demonstrate the capabilities of Power Automate, and demonstrate the business value of Power Virtual Agents. Let us look at the Power Platform Associate Certification Updates. The first one is your Power Platform App Maker Certification. So this is your PL100 exam. So the key skills that will be measured as part of this particular certification is design business solutions. Around 35 to 40% of the exam questions will be asked from this topic. Create solutions. Around 45 to 50% of the exam questions will be asked from this topic. And finally, analyze and visualize data Around 15 to 20% of the exam questions will be asked from this topic. The candidate envisions and creates solutions to simplify and automate tasks and processes for themselves and their team. They understand the data that they are working with, the issues that they need to resolve, and the required processes and app experiences will be measured as part of the App Maker certification. So if you take up the Microsoft Power Platform App Maker Certification and if you pass the exam, you earn the certification, which is the Associate Certification Microsoft Certified Power Platform App Maker Associate. This exam measures your ability to accomplish the following technical tasks, which includes design business solutions, create solutions and analyze and visualize data. The next associate certification is your Power Platform Functional Consultant, which is your PL200 exam. So candidates for this exam, they perform the discovery, capture requirements, engage with subject matter experts and stakeholders. They also translate requirements and configure the Microsoft Power Platform solutions and applications. They also create application enhancements custom user experiences, system integrations, data conversions, custom process automation, and also custom visualizations. This exam was last updated on May 10, 2022. The key skills that will be measured as part of this exam are configuring Microsoft Dataverse. Around 20 to 25% of the exam questions will be asked from this topic. Create apps by using Microsoft Power Apps, around 15 to 20% of the exam questions will be covered from this topic. Create and manage Microsoft Power Automate, 15 to 20% of the questions, whereas implement Microsoft Power Virtual Agent Chatbots, 10 to 15% of the questions. Integrate Microsoft Power Apps with other apps and services, around 10 to 15% of the questions and manage solutions around 15 to 20% of the exam questions will be covered from this topic. Overall, like the 100% of the questions will be split across the different subject areas as listed here. So if you take up the Microsoft Power Platform Functional Consultant Certification Exam, and if you pass the exam, you earn the Microsoft Certified Power Platform Functional Consultant associate certification. This exam measures your ability to complete the following tasks, which includes configuring Microsoft Dataverse, create apps by using Microsoft Power Apps, create and manage Microsoft Power Automate, implement Microsoft Power Virtual Agent Chatbots, integrate Microsoft Power Apps with other apps and services, and finally managing solutions. 
The next certification is the Power BI Data Analyst Certification, which is your PL300 exam. The Power BI Data Analyst delivers actionable insights by leveraging available data and applying domain expertise. The Power BI Data Analyst also collaborate with key stakeholders across verticals to identify business requirements, cleanse and transforms the data, and then designs and builds data models by using Power BI. The Power BI Data Analyst provides meaningful business value through easy to comprehend data visualizations and enabling others to perform self-service analytics and deploys and configure solutions for consumption. Candidates for this exam should be proficient using Power Query and writing expressions by using DAX. The key skills that will be measured as part of this exam are preparing the data, which is around 15 to 20% of the exam questions will be asked from this topic. Modeling the data, 30 to 35% of the exam questions visualize and analyze the data, 25 to 30% of the exam questions will deploy to and maintain assets, 20 to 25% of the exam questions will be asked from this topic. So if you take up the Microsoft Power BI Data Analyst certification, and if you succeed in the certification, then you earn the Power BI Data Analyst Associate certification. This exam measures your ability to accomplish the key technical tasks, which includes prepare the data, model the data, visualize and analyze the data, and deploy and maintaining the assets. The next certification is your Power Platform Developer Certification, which is PL400 exam. Candidates for this exam design, develop, secure, and troubleshoot Power Platform solutions. Candidates implement components of a solution, including application enhancements, custom user experience, system integrations, data conversions, custom process automation, and custom visualizations. The key skills that will be measured as part of this certification includes create a technical design. Around 10 to 15% of the exam questions will be asked from this topic. Configure Microsoft Dataverse, 10 to 15% of the exam questions, whereas create and configure Power Apps, 5 to 10% of the exam questions. Configure Business Process Automation, around 5 to 10% of the exam questions. Extend the User Experience, 15 to 20% of the exam questions. Extend the Platform, 20 to 25% of the exam questions. And develop integrations, around 5 to 10% of the exam questions will be asked from this topic. This exam was last updated on March 14, 2022. If you take up the Microsoft Power Platform Developer Certification, and if you succeed in the certification, then you earn the Power Platform Developer Associate Certification. This exam measures your ability to accomplish the following technical tasks, which includes create a technical design, configure Microsoft Dataverse, create and configure Power Apps, configure business process automation, extend the user experience, extend the platform, and finally, developing integrations. Let us look quickly look at the Power Platform Expert Certification updates. The Power Platform Expert Certification includes the Power Platform Solutions Architect Certification, which is your PL600 exam. This particular exam will measure the skills, which includes performing solution envisioning and requirement analysis. Around 35 to 40 percent of the exam questions will be asked from this topic. Architecting a solution, around 40 to 45 percent of the exam questions, whereas implementing the solution, around 15 to 20 percent of the exam questions will be asked from this topic. This particular exam was last updated on May 14, 2022. Candidates for this exam, they are solution architects who lead successful implementations and focus how solution addresses the broader business 
and technical needs of organizations. This role requires the ability to identify opportunities to solve business problems. Candidates should also have functional and technical knowledge of the Microsoft Power Platform, Dynamics 365, customer engagement apps, related Microsoft Cloud solutions, and other third-party technologies. They apply knowledge and experience throughout an engagement. Candidates perform proactive and preventive work to increase the value of the customer's investment and promote organizational health. In order to get certified as the Power Platform Solutions Architect, you have to take one of the prerequisite exam, which is Microsoft Power Platform Functional Consultant Associate, which is your PL200 exam, or Microsoft Certified Power Platform Developer Associate Certification, which is your PL400 exam. Once you have taken either one of the prerequisite exams, which is PL200 or PL400, you can get ready to take up the Microsoft Power Platform Solutions Architect Certification. If you successfully pass this certification, then you earn the Microsoft Certified Power Platform Solution Architect Expert Certification. And this is one of the expert certification that you have got in the Power Platform family of certifications. This exam measures your ability to accomplish the following technical tasks, which includes perform solution envisioning and requirement analysis, architect a solution, and finally implementing the solution. Let us look at the next steps for the preparation for the Power Platform certification exams, as well as what it takes to take up the exams. To start with your certification journey, you can use the Microsoft Learn website. The Microsoft Learn website has got wealth of information starting from like your fundamentals exam all the way to the expert exam. If you take up the Power Platform certifications, like your Power Platform fundamental exam, that has got the built-in modules which will take you through each and every skill area that will be assessed as part of the certification exam itself. Uh, all the way up to the Solutions Architect Expert Exam. Again, each of this exam will be split into relevant uh, modules and each module will be targeting towards the uh, specific certification skill area. You can prepare for your certification either by using Microsoft Learn, which is basically preparing for your certification in a self-paced fashion. So you can pretty much spend uh, a hour or so every day and then you can allocate that time to prepare each and every module and get ready for your certification. The other option that you have got is using the instructor-led training. So each of the Power Platform certification, again, you can take up an instructor-led training. So here you have to go to a training center or even you can take up the training in a virtual way and you spend the whole day uh, with the trainer just understanding the concepts as well as performing the hands-on labs in order to get the skills that you require to prepare for the certification exam. So the preparation for the certification exam includes going through all the modules and gaining the skills. Along with that, my personal recommendation is that you perform the hands-on labs and do the hands-on labs practice. By doing this hands-on lab, Pretty much it will be uh, giving you an idea about how to perform some of the tasks in real time as well as some of the exam questions will be around ordering how to do certain things and doing the hands-on labs is going to be valuable for you in order to answer those questions effectively. I would also recommend to take up the measure up practice test. So the measure up practice test is something that is going to give you some sort of practice or a mock-up a certification exam and this is uh, going to help you to validate your skills across the different skill areas of the power platform certifications in a nutshell if you want to kickstart your certification journey my recommendation is that you prepare for the certification exam and make sure that you 
appear for the certification as early as possible. As you know, the technology changes on a rapid basis and the certification exam also goes for an update as, as early as possible. So if you are ready for taking up the certification, don't delay that and take as soon as possible if you can. In a nutshell, the key things that we discussed as part of this particular webinar is around where do you find the latest certifications related to Microsoft Power Platform and also some of the Power Platform certification updates. This includes, we looked at the different uh, Power Platform fundamental certifications and all the Power Platform associate certifications and finally the Power Platform expert certifications. We also looked at the key next steps that you have to take in order to pursue with your certification exams. Just to recap on these things, the Power Platform certifications is going to give you the skills that you require to excel with the different components that are associated with the Power Platform family. So go ahead and book your certification exam today and get certified and be prepared to become a Power Platform consultant. If you require any certification or training needs, feel free to reach out to us uh, on sales at opsagility.com and you can also reach out to us through our website which is skillmeup.com. So they don't miss the opportunity and take up the full opportunity of getting prepared and getting ready for the Power Platform certifications. With that note, thanks everyone for attending today's webinar and hopefully you would have got a pretty good idea around what are the different Power Platform certifications that are available and how do you go ahead and prepare for the certification as well as taking up the certification exam. So my personal recommendation for you is don't miss the opportunity to prepare the certifications as quickly as possible and take up the certifications and become a Power Platform expert as soon as possible. Thank you.